Today we talk about lot number 67 uh, from our upcoming Fine Asian Art Auction on October 17. This is a pair, a very rare and exceptionally well-preserved pair of silver shoes from the Liao Dynasty in China, uh, or maybe a bit earlier, maybe late Tang Dynasty, 8th to 9th century. They come from the personal collection of uh, Simone and Ellen Hartman. Ellen Hartman has been uh, described as uh, the greatest antique dealer of our generation. He was a major collector with thousands and thousands of pieces, uh, many of them in museums all over the world. He had single owner sales at all major auction houses. And this is from his private collection. Alan Hartman was keen on Tang Dynasty silver, and we have quite a few pieces from his collection are coming up in our sale. Lot uh, 67, 68, 69, 70 and 71 and 72. Um, but these, of course, are exceptional because they are so rare. They are women's shoes. They have roughly 17 centimeters in length, which is a bit smaller than the average uh, shoe size today, which would be for a woman 22, 23 centimeters. This is due to the so-called foot binding uh, uh, procedure, which occurred in the uh, late tank to early Leo period, exactly at the time when these shoes were made. Um, the women's feet were a bit smaller, uh, in those days, maybe like 20 centimeters, and of course, these are made to as burial shoes. So they are put on the body of a very important deceased person and, uh, from nobility, probably a princess, someone from the royal family. And of course, uh, after a person passes away, the uh, uh, feet are a bit smaller than normally, which is why uh, these shoes are also a bit smaller. Uh, there is uh, some comparisons known from uh, the Song Dynasty, uh, which are approximately the same size, but most of the shoes that are found, like, uh, for instance, a pair of gold shoes uh, from, that from the Liao Dynasty are men's shoes. And they are not decorated in this uh, highly typical uh, manner of the Tang Dynasty which has these ring punching ground and uh, neatly incised and chiseled decoration. Uh, there is a great article right now in Arts of Asia um, that uh, explains exactly uh, uh, as part of a fundamental study, uh, the technique in which in the late Tang Dynasty these things were made. And of course, this is a 100% match, um, but uh, that shows here also this slight uh, cuprate tarnishing, which is so typical. Uh, and the condition is, is really exceptional. Uh, and this is probably unique. There's not ever been a second pair of women's shoes made from silver from this period. So they are absolutely exceptional. And I think uh, it's worth to mention uh, a fun fact uh, the House of Fabergé made, at some point, uh, copies of these shoes in, in Agate um, to present to the Russian Romanov family, the emperors of Russia at the time. And that was about a thousand years later already, at uh, the same time when the foot uh, binding procedure uh, went really bad in China with a total obsession. It was an absolute nightmare for the women. Uh, stopped then with the uh, demise of the Qing Empire. But back in those days, it was rather moderate, which is why these shoes are much larger than most of the later examples that you find for women. Um, the starting price is 4,000 euro. Uh, it's really low. Uh, estimate 8,000 euros should do well in our upcoming sale. Um, the decoration here is, uh, is with birds among uh, um, foliate uh, and floral um, decor here you can see neatly incised and the spiral decoration here is also found on many other shoes from later periods. But those of course are the real deal. They date uh, more than a thousand years old and I wish you good luck in bidding in our upcoming auction.